Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna modify a metahuman DNA bone expression using Mesh Morpher and uh, bring it back in Maya. We want our expression to work uh, in Maya as well. Uh, so to get started, first we need uh, to uh, import our DNA asset. So we're using uh, Unreal Engine 5.4 and uh, with uh, 5.4, uh, the geometry data in uh, the DNA asset is gone. So we need to re-import it from the file, right? So we go to Quixel Bridge. And let's uh, select our MetaHuman. Uh, this one is our MetaHuman. Uh, we go to Files. Let's navigate to the source assets file and uh, let's uh, copy this uh, somewhere else, right? Let's uh, create here a folder, DNA test. And let's copy it here. We're going to import this uh, back in, uh, in uh, Unreal Engine right now. So we we'll go to content browser and just drag and drop our DNA asset uh, in the con uh, content browser. And now we have to select our MetaHuman, which is the Tore, and click on Import. Once uh, the import is done, we can go back in Poser. Let's open Poser, and let's modify our uh, one of our expressions, right? Moan expression. So we want to modify Joe Open, and uh, let's uh, do some quick changes here. Let's select uh, a bone and just do some crazy stuff here so we can quickly see it in, uh, in Maya, right? Uh, let's uh, apply to DNA expression doing this. It will uh, bake uh, our uh, modi uh, modification into the DNA asset. It's going to take a little bit. And now that's done, let's test it out. This is our uh, new expression. Now we can go to the main window, go to tools and write DNA to file. We will select our DNA file where we saved it, it's DNA test. We will, we will have to select the same file, right? Let's click on open, click okay here. And now uh, our DNA file is exported. Let's select it. And let's uh, go to DNA calibration and let's uh, open it, right? Let me open Maya. Let's create a new scene and uh, let's import our DNA asset with DNA calibration library. Okay. And now that uh, our DNA uh, uh, file is imported in Maya, we can test it out. Let's, uh, let's test it quickly. Well, we need to test jaw open and let's see the bone movement. As you can see, uh, with jaw open, we have same uh, bone movement as in Unreal Engine, right? So using Mesh Morpher, we were, uh, we were able to modify uh, bone expression for our metahuman DNA, right? So uh, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoy this uh, new functionality and uh, see you around. Bye.